Oh, there we are. What's up, Fish Huge fans? I'm Captain Chris. Thank you for joining the Fish Huge YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you guys how we fish huge. So we got the beginning of red grouper season 2023 and I went out and uh, we caught a couple of nice red grouper and we also caught some porgies and some pretty nice sized porgies and for me porgies are uh, some, of the, some of the best eating fish out there. Uh, they're, they're really white flaky meat and uh, they taste delicious. So um, I'm going to show you guys how we catch the red grouper and how we catch these porgies. Uh, first I'm going to start out with the porgies. And what I'm using here is a Spin Fisher 6. That is the uh, 5500. I got a uh, Power Pro High Viz. That's 40 pound test braid. Uh, this is the uh, combination. And this is the 12 to 20 pound uh, for the mono. And for the braid, it's going to be 15 to 40 pound. And uh, this, this is pretty much the perfect setup for catching all kinds of different fish. I can go inshore and I can go offshore and be successful at both of them with this setup right here. So if you're looking for a good all around uh, setup, this is good. You can also catch some big uh, grouper with this also. Um, and I go to a double uni knot to tie on my braid to my floral carbon or my mono. And that double uni knot for me, you only need you only need to really know two knots out there: the double uni knot and the advanced uh, fisherman's knot, which is what I tie all my hooks together with. And that that is between those two knots. That's really once you perfect those two knots and you get those right, I've never had these knots fail on me. They are the strongest knots that you can use, and that's what I go with. Um, this here is 30 pound uh, floral carbon. I use Sea Guard. I like Sea Guard. And this is a two ounce jig head. I make my own jig heads, but you can buy them. Two ounce jig heads. We're fishing in 90 feet of water this time. So you need a, a little bit of heavier jig head to get you down there and uh, so you can feel the bottom. And once you get that down there, um, well before you put that down there you're gonna need to hook up some bait and I'm using shrimp and whether it's alive or dead you can hook it up different ways um, this is how I prefer to hook it up like this I go right through the tail go through the back there and then just like that and that's how that's how you're gonna do that right there and it goes down there and he sits there and he's flickering around and 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 you know even if he's dead he's just sitting down there those fish will see it and they eat it and you wait a couple of nice uh bumps you're gonna feel it load up and that's when that's when you're gonna you're not gonna just jerk with a little a little a little bump you're going to reel real 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 get all of the bend all of the line really tight to the fish and then pop up and then reel when you get it up to the top hold and then reel and then you're going to feel that fish and then you're going to start reeling down you want to keep a bend in that rod and you want to get them off the bottom and that, that's going to be uh, uh, really key to getting those those fish off the bottom whether they're they're grouper or porgies or whatever they are you always got sharks and barracudas and stuff out there trying to eat your fish and that fish is trying to get back down into the reef so that's how you get them out you don't give them any inch you reel really tight to them and then pull them up off the bottom because if you just jerk you still got all of the bend of the rod all of the stretch of, of the line or, or the movement of the line or whatever's left, little slack that's left in the line, he's got all that. He's gonna have another five feet of line to bury into the rocks. So by reeling all that slack in and, and getting really tight to that fish and then pulling up, that's when you're pulling them up off the bottom. All right, so, uh, and another way to hook these is like that. Hook them straight on like that drop that sucker down there and wait wait for the bite all right 
and so that's pretty much how we're catching these porgies and uh, if you want to put on a pinfish on these I go straight through the nose go right right in through the mouth straight in through the nose there's a little soft spot right in there that that hook will slide right through and you'll have a nice uh, hook set with that uh, with the pinfish so it's gonna be the same thing with a greenback or, or anything you want that you want that streamline and looking natural when it comes down so uh, that, that's how um, we're catching those porgies out there All right, guys we're gonna move on to the red grouper and uh, red grouper they pull really hard they uh, so you want to have a nice uh, strong backbone to your to your uh, rod and and you want to be able to put a lot of force back and get them off of the bottom so you're gonna need heavy-duty gear and this is the spin fisher 6 you see I use all pin all spin fishers um, they seem to last pretty good so uh, I got this drag pretty much maxed out now I got a hundred pound uh, test line on here but you don't really need to go that big I'm just I just need to use this line up so I throw it on here and uh, you, I would go you can use 50 pound test and that that'll be plenty you know uh, 50 pound 60 pound test would be plenty and uh, this is actually the uh, carnage jigging uh, rod and this one uh, is rated 80 to uh, 200 pound test braid so uh, this really stout strong uh, rod and reel um, and that, that you're gonna need that if you're gonna go out there on repeat trips and uh, and pull these things up um, so we go to that but what I'm using this year for most of the year for catching all of my grouper most of the year I'm going to be going down to an egg sinker and this is called the California rig and this egg, egg sinker here is about four ounces uh, four to five ounces um, you can go up depending on the current um, and uh, or, or if you're drifting which this gear works perfect for drifting your egg sinkers here and then you got this swivel which that swivel is a heavy duty swivel you're a hundred uh, 120 pound swivel right there and uh, fisherman's knot advanced fisherman's knot advanced fisherman's knot and this is 40 pound uh, mono and this is that diamond momoy's uh, mono right there that diamond and uh, and I got about six feet of that and then that's going to a number six hook and uh, this is that uh, must add uh, ultra points these are really good and strong uh, you can go with the VMC's those are really good and strong but you're gonna need that gap right there you want you want to make sure you got a nice clear gap there that way it cinches in deep to that grouper because they're gonna pull hard and you don't want it breaking their lip and them getting away so you want that getting in there nice and deep so with that you're gonna hook you're gonna hook up your pinfish through the mouth and you're gonna get it right in the center and like I was saying there's a soft spot right there where that hook will bury right into and then it'll, it'll just go right in like butter and that fish will stay alive forever like that well until something eats him because that looks good like that and you want that you want that hook exposed now this is a little bit small of bait you know you can put on a large uh, sand perch or you'll see a lot of times I'm using lizard fishes you'll catch a lizard fishes bycatch when you're catching the porgies and, and lane snapper and stuff and take that lizard fish I don't care how big he is or how small he is put them on a hook and send them down there and you're gonna pull up a grouper all right so uh, you, you do that right there and the reason why I do this is because this hook isn't going to get foul hooked it's not going to come back around and hook the fish again all right a lot of times if you hook them back here then and I do it sometimes but mostly when I'm free lining is when I do this but that's only because I'm keeping constant tension and the fish it doesn't for the most part get in like that but this will happen right here and it's gonna go right into the side there and it's gonna foul hook them and then you're gonna miss your fish 
all right so you don't you don't want that you know and that, that happens a lot when uh when, when i have them hooked like this or even at the bottom it does the same thing you know if you got them hooked at the bottom it'll, it'll do the same thing because he's on there swimming around all crazy but especially when you're trolling or um not only trolling when especially when you're drifting the hook like that and you're pulling the fish along and that is ideal right there for uh, for catching the uh, the big grouper. So you're going to feel your weight hit the bottom, and then if you're drifting, you're going to feel it drag bottom, and then it's going to lift up a little bit. It's okay if it lifts up a couple of feet off the bottom, but you don't want it too far off the bottom. So you want to let a little bit line about, let it drop back down, and then if you don't get any hits or anything for a while and your depth finder looks really good then maybe start chumming get those fish uh, uh, feeding uh, you, you know uh, anchor up over area where it looks good and start chumming them up and uh, you'll eventually get some activity going and and they'll, they'll, they'll fire up for you but um, so if you get like a like a really large bait then you're gonna step it up you're gonna step it up to to a bigger hook you know like a number eight I mean you're looking at really large baits they catch really large fish grouper their mouth you know you, you get a 30 inch grouper its mouth's that big there's not too much it can't swallow so a bigger bait is actually going to weed out a lot of those smaller fish and um, that's really ideal too because you don't want to be bringing up a whole bunch of little tiny fish all the time if you're out there trying to catch the keepers so if, if you can throw a large bait on that that's ideal for uh for getting the big ones not that the big ones won't hit smaller baits but it weeds out the smaller fish and uh that's pretty much uh how we're gonna do it the california rig for all right guys so uh, as you see in the video i am going to be selling these numbers along with a bunch of other other numbers that i have offshore um, I'm gonna have numbers that are uh, less expensive and they're gonna be more of a community numbers and um, uh, you know I'll sell those to uh, who, whoever wants to buy them and you might and and those areas will be kind of spread out uh, uh, in a certain uh, area so uh, you, you might see other boats out there uh, you know in the, these same areas but they have been productive for me and they're probably productive for other people too so uh, th these are good areas to go try and um, if you're having trouble catching fish then uh, you know what, what's a few more dollars and uh, uh, changing it up and, and, and seeing what happens for you um, and also uh, you know for people that want to go way offshore um, you, you know about 30 to uh, 40 uh, 45 miles I think is about the furthest uh, you, you know I've marked some uh, good fish I would um, I would suggest buying some of my private spots um, which uh, I've taken video of those some huge uh, um, you know red grouper uh, some good uh, red snapper spots when red snapper comes in the season uh, th those spots will be good for you and um, uh, really good lane snappers and all these spots you have a good chance of catching dolphin bonita kingfish uh, blackfin tuna uh, I mean we get amberjack that come to the boat um, you, you know so any of these spots anywhere from 60 uh, feet on on out to uh, 120 uh, you know we, we catch uh, dolphin uh, so you never know when when you have a, a school of dolphin come to the boat and uh, you know it could turn into a dolphin trip for you uh, alright guys so don't forget to subscribe share like hit the bell and you'll get notifications on my new videos I also have a bunch of shorts that I put out just for fun and uh, enjoy live in or coming to the Tampa Bay area then let's go fishing book a trip with fish huge charters we'll take you and your family on a fishing adventure of a lifetime fish huge charters will put you on the fish offering specialty trips for goliath grouper and huge sharks fish huge charters will hook you up so if you want to put meat on the table or just looking for a huge fish to catch then go to fishhuge.com and book a trip let's go fishing
is the keeper. Hey, it's a freaking gag. <laughs> well, you're not in season. You got two fish in one. Is that your bait? That's my bait, Dad. Oh. Where'd you catch him? Were you throwing that? No, uh, I caught him on the pole just a minute ago. Oh. Well, you a lucky guy. No, I don't man. think he's I don't think he's big enough anyways, but they're out of season. Oh. Ha. It's a nice gag. Out of season though. We gone. Time to get serious. You mean you haven't been serious this whole damn time? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What we got? Hey, another big porgy. Nice. Right, look at that thing. Look at the colors. I was using shrimp with a jig head right on the bottom. And that is a thick porgy. Look at that thing. Going in the box, bud. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, he, he hammered that thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, he hit it hard for yeah, being yeah. a porgy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he'd probably throw anything down. No, oh, there we go. Maybe another big porgy. That's what it feels like. Yes, sir. Trigger fish? No, another big porgy. Look at that. Cool. Nice. Big porgy. Dang, boy, that's a fighter here. Look at that sucker. That's a, <laughs> that's a monster one there. There we go. <laughs> here, hold it. Hey, yeah, that big old porgy. He's gonna, he's gonna freak out. Oh, he's puking everywhere. He's, I mean, he's like. He pissed. He, he was not <laughs> expecting that. No, nah, he pissed. Look at that sucker right yeah, there, boy. Nice. Yeah. That's a beauty, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice pork. That is a huge porgy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's bigger than the first big one. Yeah, yeah. He's the biggest one so far. There we go. There we go. A little something. That was on that little pinfish I threw down there. Oh, look at that with him. Look. What is that, an amberjack? Look, there's an amberjack with him. Yeah. Throw something there on him. Mm. I wasn't taking it in mind, but you don't want to 
Dang, Dang this has got a little power. A little power. Yeah. Come on, hogfish. That's what it feels like. Oh, hey. Nope, porgy. Another big old porgy. Dang. I mean, you want to catch some big porgies. This is the spot, huh? Yeah. Oh, he's giving it another kick, isn't he? Yeah, he's working on it. He's heading down. Yeah, there he goes. Going right underneath him. Look at that bad boy. That's a nice one. Hey, if the red grouper don't want to bite, I'll eat, I'll eat some porgies. Dude. Yeah, there he is. I like when they pull hard like that. Feels like another big old porgy. Yep. Now I was using uh, was using shrimp. Man, these are some big porgs. Oh yeah, keep him out of that ledge. There you go. That's good, that's good, that's good, not too much. Oh, shit, damn. damn. I couldn't even get out of the fucking rod holder, man. Huh? You don't got no drag on this thing? Yeah. Holy crap. Yep. Yeah. Oh, something just hit this one. Oh yeah, we're on. Oh. Fucking snap. Yeah, it's because you tighten the drag up too much. I told you not to tighten the drag up that smut that tight. There's something over here. Hey, Dad, you roll your other line in. Come up here real quick. This one up here. I don't know what I got. Mine snapped too. Yes. Oh, that's the one that went? Yeah, that was the one that took off just now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Kingfish. Kingfish? Oh no, it's a bonita. Oh. As much as I hit mine. Too. Yeah. Nice one. Bonita? Yeah, it's Benita. Yeah, once you had that fish off the bottom, you didn't have to tighten the drag. You already got them up. And then when he goes to pull again, you want him, you want him pulling drag. That way he don't pop the line. Yeah. Tighten it up a little bit. Bonita. Yeah, they followed that. They followed that chum in. You want to 
Good guy. Uh, I'm gonna let him go. You got one? Nah. Ugh. Hey, hold my pole. I'll grab him. You're gonna bleed all over the place. There we go. Benita. Look at that sucker in the sun. Nice fish, huh? Look at that. That's what it was, the school of Benita went through. Yeah. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it! Whoa, 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 whoa. Got me in the rock. Hang on, he's coming out. Oh yeah, he's got me buried. All right, fishing's turning on. You got another. Yeah, I got, I got whatever you need. Hopefully it's a big grouper here. He doubled over and was right in the rock. I don't know, I don't know what the hell I had. Ah, dang it. Broke my line. Well, whatever's down there is good, huh? Oh, damn, already? Yeah. Oh, there we are. Ugh. God damn. Oh, now you got the video on. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Come on, baby. Be a good one. Loosen that drag now that I got him off the bottom. Oh, it's a grouper. Is it a red? It's a red grouper. Yeah, baby. Woo, here we are, that's a keeper. Come here, baby. Ah. There it is. <laughs> For the best fishing apparel on the market, go to fishhuge.com. Made with strong, durable, and breathable material, Fish Huge Apparel has 50 SPF fabric that will protect you from the sun and keep you cool. So if you have the Fish Huge attitude, then go to fishhuge.com. Apparel for extreme fishing. This guy's a stud, huh? Look at that, baby. Big old fat slob. Red grouper just came into season. We're in uh, January 2023. <clears throat> and uh, this is how you get them, man, right here. Look at that. I'm actually gonna sell these numbers where I caught this fish. These numbers, these numbers will be up for sale along with, uh, you know, how we catch them. You just go to my YouTube channel and uh, that shows you how you catch in every spot that I give you. And uh, so that's how you do it right there. Let's see how, uh, see how long he is. That is 24, a little over 24. So there you go, a little over 24. Beautiful red grouper. And you guys are gonna want this spot. <laughs> we had all kinds of fish come to the boat, man. This is awesome.